Hey, good afternoon guys. I'm Mike. Welcome to Affluent Journeys. That's my website, affluentjourneys.com. Uh, today I'm in Vilsofen uh, in Germany, and I'm going to go on my 40th cruise. It will be right here on what you'll see behind me, the Amma Magna. The Amma Magna is Amma Waterway's newest, uh, largest river cruise vessel in the world, and of course most technologically advanced, the most features and benefits that you could ever get on a river cruise vessel. So I'm doing a uh, seven night cruise here from Vilsofen to Budapest, and uh, right now I'm going to take you on a full tour of uh, the entire vessel and all the public uh, areas. Um, I've already gotten content and all the big suites and rooms on board as well, so make sure to check out the other uh, videos in my cruise tours playlist uh, so you can see all of it. I have actually over 250 videos now, and I'm proud to say that's the largest library of cruise ship content uh, anywhere on YouTube. So. Uh, the Emma Magna was just built here in 2019. Uh, it's a double-wide uh, river cruise vessel, much bigger than anything else you've ever seen or sailed on before. And uh, it only holds 196 passengers. Just by contrast, a uh, Viking vessel, their Viking longships, uh, will hold nearly the same amount of people on a standard width cruise ship. So you got a ton of elbow room here on the Emma Magna, and that's going to pay dividends. You're going to see a big difference uh, here on board the Amma Magna and of course I recommend it. I'm a uh, luxury travel agent. I do uh, uh, recommend uh, and offer Amma Waterways cruises for North American residents. So if you're seriously interested in booking a cruise here on Amma Waterways, even uh, especially the Amma Magna, uh, I'd love to hear from you about it. Uh, so for North American residents only, uh, in most cases I can improve the offer that you would have direct on your own. Uh, so you can contact me at the phone number down below or submit your inquiry on my website at fluentjourneys.com. So just make sure to uh, like the video here if you haven't already. Please subscribe and put your comments down below uh, if you've sailed on Emma Waterways by the time you see this uh, so others can learn from your experience. All right, let's go and uh, get going on the tour. Oh, and I forgot to mention, even if you've already booked that cruise recently and directly through Emma Waterways North American offices only, not through Europe, UK, or Australia, I might still be able to improve that offer for you and I'll be glad to do it. Uh, you must not be paid in full and not book through another travel agent. And make sure to watch through the, to the end of the video. I'll explain that in greater detail again because you'll need to be aware of it before you contact me. So if you happen to arrive here in Vilsofen, you'll start at the check-in desk here and then make your way onto the cruise ship over the nice wide gangway here. All right, we're now uh, on the Danny River. We're heading eastward towards Passau today. So if you're getting any uh, wind there in the mic. <clears throat> of course, we're on the uh, Magna. We're going to start the tour here on the top deck, and that is Captain Jan there. And right here is the wheelhouse, and this actually sinks down, if you can see all that. And it goes pretty much flat in case the uh, river le levels are high. Uh, we can get under the bridges here in the larger areas of the Danube, and the uh, navigational radar tower there sinks down also. And we have a nice forward seating area. Granted permission to uh, enter the wheelhouse, which is state of the art uh, technology here. You can see some blueprints from the Yama Magna. Have some ship models and all the fancy navigation system that the captain is running right now. Right here is the uh, bicycle area. They do have a whole bunch of free bikes uh, for use on Emma Magna. And the uh, crew members right now are just uh, removing the uh, rain covers. And it looks like there's at least 100 bikes there, so plenty of bikes if you want to use them on the bike tours.
leaving up about a three foot gap on either side. You can see we're getting right close to it. Now we're now moving uh, through the lock. Nice slow speed uh, into the main river area there. We'll be docking in Passau shortly. These are skylights. Plenty of light going down into the interior areas of the ship. And right here is actually an elevator. This is one of very few, if any, uh, river cruise vessels in the world that has an elevator that actually comes all the way up to the top deck. Here's the elevator coming up, all the way to the top deck. Straight from the forward section, we have a uh, herb garden, and right here, middle uh, top deck is the only uh, shot or smoking area for guests. No smoking anywhere else on the ship. And just another seating, shaded seating area with uh, lounge chairs. Now in the evening in uh, Vilsofen, just after uh, 9 o'clock, so just hear how it looks when they take everything down, shading areas and whatnot. It's one of the beautiful church buildings here. I want to show you the uh, pool in the evening. You know, we got some evening bathers coming right now, so we got a nice full-size pool, about uh, two and a half, three feet deep here, and then a uh, nice jacuzzi as well, which is nice and hot. Started it for me right on time. Thanks, guys. Well, just be careful. Don't step on the glass when you see it down like this. Another little shot of the herb garden. So we do have a uh, massive ch size chessboard here. Uh, starboard side. And then back there is the crew area. And we got mini putts. Someone shot the ball all the way over here on port side. And then, oh, forgot to mention, all the way in the back, they do have a uh, little tender launch boat there. I believe it's a sundowner. So now we're down from the uh, roof deck onto deck three here, aft. This is just a seating area outside of the uh, Zen wellness studio and spa area. Can have a look at some of the uh, ropes and winches that they have set up here to keep us all secure on the pier. And this is the lift here for the uh, sundowner boat. Which maybe you can see it right there. And if I can get some more shots later in the cruise, I'll show that as well. And we have four spinning bikes, and uh, Tiago, uh, the wellness host, does have spinning classes, but you do have to sign up in advance. Now, in certain areas of the ship here, uh, we're port side aft, you do have to actually use your room key to activate the door to open. And right now we're in the uh, fitness center and spa area. Sorry if it's a little dark. So they have two uh, exercise bikes. They have a rowing machine, two treadmills, uh, which are sunken down into the floor. Uh, so I'm five foot ten, and I have at least a foot over my head. Um, I think. I'm actually wearing my chef's hat still from dinner. See, so yeah, I have about a foot or so above my head. So most people should be able to run on it. They have one uh, exercise bench, uh, small weight stacks that go up to eight kilograms. They don't have any large weights. They have a bunch of yoga mats. Uh, they have one exercise ball, free water for use. They use the uh, uh, paper recyclable type there. And we have one techno gym here, and more mats there, towels, and one scale. And then on this side, we have the actual spa area. So I have some spa tables here, they'll have some snacks, nice water. So they'll have a detox water of the day here. And then they do have a massage therapist on board. Uh, I think they have two actually. 
We have two treatment rooms here. I'll try and show inside if I can as well. And we did it. Get to be able to have a look here in the massage room. Two of them just like this. All of your great spa treatments here on Emma Magna. And just forward of the fitness center and spa, we do have a manicure room, a room as well. And then you come into the main hallways. See the signage there. And this is the violin deck, which is deck three. So also on this level are the main lounge, library, cinema, alfresco dining observation deck at the front. And here's how the hallways look, elegant, LED lighting. And they do have two restrooms here, male and female, here right at the back. So mid on deck three, we do have an ice dispenser and there's a few more uh, throughout the ship. This is uh, Deck 3's hallway. You can see the hallways are really wide here. And just a couple jewelry boxes here to look at in the hallways. And basically we're going to have a deck plan uh, that tells you our, where everything is on board. So we'll go look forward here at the uh, central atrium and main lounge. The observation desk and El Fresco. Right here is the uh, technical deck plan of the ship. That's of interest to you to see. And from there we come into the uh, central atrium here on deck three. So they have two uh, little seating and meeting areas. Guess what? You get complimentary postcards from your Ammo Waterways crews. And we have the same thing over here. We've got stairwells on both sides. We do have the uh, central elevator. And then also, um, we have the map, which will say where you are. We're on the Danube River right now. We're headed towards uh, Krems today uh, in the Vachau Valley area. All right, and just uh, forward of the uh, main atrium, we're going to have the main lounge and bar. So we have all really nice, uh, of course, brand new furniture throughout here. Of course, this is the full wet bar. Uh, drinks are not included throughout the cruise on Ammo Waterways, but they, beer and wine is included at the meals. Uh, in addition, you can order here at the bar all different kinds of drinks. I'll show you some of the different uh, liquors they have here. All right, here is the main dance floor. We do have evening entertainment here. Last night we had a really nice uh, three-string uh, band, I guess you could call them, string trio, and they do have pianos, all the different local entertainers come on. And we right here in this area we have a 24-hour coffee and tea waiting for you. So you can see all the different uh, teas that they use here. It's mostly Mebner. It's like the brand that they use. And of course you can make all your own custom coffees right here. And from the main lounge, starboard, we come into a beautiful little seating area with uh, basically Basics of the U.S. News here, uh, some library items for you, and look at this, we have chessboard, backgammon, all the different little table games you want, and a really cool steam fireplace. From there we come to Al Fresco, and this is the one of the evening menus. 
case you want to see that. And El Fresco is a uh, small dining venue. It's just for light breakfast, uh, lunch and dinner, snacks, those kind of things. If you want to eat a full meal, normally you'll go to the dining room or one of the other restaurants. So the taste of the day. at the uh, small buffet that they have here so you can see kind of what to expect on board. So they have uh, orange juice, tons of muffins, food platters, yogurts, cereals, fresh fruits and smoked salmon, trout, See some more of the wines that we'll have on board. And in just a little bit, they'll have some hot items out here as well. And more coffee. And they have kind of the same thing, but different colors. On the port side, just uh, back of Al Fresco. With more library items here. So if you want to get outside to the bow of the ship here on this deck, you actually have to hit the uh, touch opener. The door will magically open. And here we are on the uh, forward observation deck. Of course, you can see I'm on Amma Magna. Yeah, sorry for the wind. It's a little uh, breezy out here, I can see. So we have more seating out here. It's a popular place for everybody to congregate, especially if you're going underneath a low bridge or through one of the locks. And we'll just uh, observe and enjoy here for a moment. Oh, and I forgot, uh, directly beside and in between the little library areas and behind Alfresco is uh, the cinema, cinema. So this is a really cool room here. And uh, I watched uh, the Wimbledon final in here, the first day of the cruise. And they're going to play different movies here, like the Sound of Music and Saving Private Ryan throughout. We're now on uh, deck two forward, and we're having a look in the restaurant. This is the main dining venue on board. So you'll check in here at the uh, main check-in desk. We have seating on both sides. So they do have uh, seating pretty much for everyone on board. Hey guys, how's it going? So they have tables here for six all the way through on the inside section. And then out here uh, they will have larger tables. So this is the main dining room for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, all the dining of course is complimentary on Alma Waterways. And then we'll show you the extra specialty restaurants as well. Uh, even at the buffet they do have eggs benedict, poached eggs, waffles, all that kind of good stuff. Getting ready to set up, they have hash browns, baked beans, bacon, and sausage coming. Uh, this thing will be full of breads here pretty soon. Great looking cheese plate. Various uh, foodie drinks here. cheeses and hams. We're going to have all different kinds of yogurts and stuff set up. Cereals.
favorite walnuts and almonds. Smoked salmon and trout. Got bagels galore here. Right, so funny on the map, you can see the Emma Magna, but we got the Sonata and a couple other Emma vessels around us on radar. They do have free umbrellas for use, walking sticks if you need it. And so we do have two uh, side decks here on deck two, so we'll have a quick look outside. And it's a bright, uh, fresh and early here, so we're before 7 a.m. back in this area is uh, the cruise managers area here and on our cruise it's Monica so what you're gonna do is uh, basically if you want to sign up for bike tours or some of the optional tours you'll come here and coordinate it if you haven't done it uh, before the cruise online and lost and found here of course if you lose your stuff so there's some free candy there someone doesn't claim it here pretty soon and Samantha Brown is actually on board now. She's uh, the godmother of the Ama Magna. So we're sailing with her this week uh, on the cruise. And the uh, hotel manager on this particular cruise is Christian. So if you have any problems with the room or whatnot, uh, you'll come talk to him. And then here is the main reception desk. You shouldn't have any other problems on the cruise, but uh, if you do, you'll come here. They'll help you settle your bill. Or... So deck three is known as the violin deck. Deck two here now is the cello deck. So we now come down the stairs to deck one. It's the piano deck. And right here is the chef's table restaurant. I've actually eaten here. Uh, already on the cruise, so I'll show you that on a separate video. Make sure to look for that one on my YouTube channel. And basically, it's a uh, chef's uh, tasting menu. Uh, we'll serve the upgraded uh, wines, and uh, this is pretty much the menu that we ate during the cruise. So make sure to have a look at that. And then on this side is Jimmy's Wine Bar and Restaurant. And these are both specialty dining venues. There is no extra cost for it, uh, but you do have to make uh, reservations, uh, and you get at least one in each of the rest, or at least one dining time in each of the restaurants on board. In case you're wondering who Jimmy is, it's Jimmy Murphy, who's one of the late uh, co-owners of the cruise line. So they want to carry on his legacy in a very nice way. There. And now we're going to have a chance to go inside of Jimmy's Wine Bar and Restaurant right before we actually fill up for dinner. I'm eating dinner in here tonight, so I'll show you the different courses that we have. And the wine li list as well. This Weigelt is very nice red, actually. And this, of course, is specialty dining. But again, no charge for specialty restaurants in Amma Waterways. You just need to reserve it. Here's some of the wines that they have on board. Of course, I'll show you the full wine list here in a little bit once I come in for dinner. So we're getting Riesling and Zweigelt tonight. Yeah. Right, so here's the menu for uh, Jimmy's, and basically it's similar to what you're being offered in the main dining room, but it's served family style. And here's what's on the menu for tonight. So we got a BLT salad coming for everybody. So here's the current wine list. Uh, in Jimmy's, they're only serving the two wines, but you can order anything else that you want. So we got German wines. These are all the whites here. These are the red wines. Some Germans, Austrians. The better ones are going to be down south on the menu here, the other Chianti. 
a couple of French ones, Pinots, they have a Malbec. Uh, oh no, it's only partially Malbec. Right over here we have a cat dish filet with tomato salsa. Ooh, yummy. What kind of fish? Catfish. Catfish, alright. Um, this is Danube catfish, by the way, and the right there is braved. Uh, braved. This is my great grandmother. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow! Yeah. Right outside the specialty restaurants, we do have the elevator and ice dispensers on every floor. And then here's a very good feature for all of you, a free guest laundry. But I'm hearing most river cruise vessels don't have this. It has a single ironing table in iron and really nice high quality Miele professional equipment. These are, uh, I guess, lint filters of some type there. And I did use the machines, they're excellent. So they have two washers and two dryers, and they have a mild type of uh, detergent, which worked quite well. We also have a uh, small hair salon on board. I did see a few ladies getting uh, hair treatments done. And then back from there, we do have the shop and retail area. This is probably the largest retail area on any river cruise vessel. So they do have reasonable prices. Uh, they have various biking shirts, polos, uh, cool weather gear as well, and some traditional lederhosen and type of things. Uh, gift shop is not open now, but we can take a quick uh, peek inside. I saw some various you know, stuff here as well, costume jewelry if you like. And in here they'll have uh, Christmas market things, just little uh, kind of touristy things to buy. Alright, I want to show you a few things uh, from in the room that may be of interest to you. This is our welcome letter, and of course, uh, as I mentioned, Samantha Brown is on board for the week. She's the godmother of the Amma Magna. Uh, next, very important, uh, download the My Amma Cruise app as soon as you book. You can load up your app and synchronize things. Uh, you can start looking at your uh, special shore excursions, things like that. And I did, uh, and you can also download the daily itineraries while you're on the cruise, that type of thing. Keep a cruise album uh, and set up your itinerary as well. You can save where you're going and, and where you are on the river. Next, you get a uh, daily cruiser every day, which you could download on the app, but they give it to you on paper also. It gives you the weather, all the important information, ship phone number, in case you get lost if uh, you venture out on your own. And then they give you the full calendar of everything that's uh, going on throughout the day. And today, of course, we're in the uh, Wachau Valley. We're going to be docking at Krems, which is the next little town over from Dernstein. Dernstein, I believe, is the proper pronunciation. And tell you a bunch of information here about it every day. Uh, the onboard wellness host right now is Tiago. He's from Portugal and he's running 11 classes throughout the cruise. You can see them all here. So it's good to stay in shape uh, with Tiago. And he gives you the full schedule. So today we're at Krems and yoga tonight. So I'm probably going to do that. Now, very important is the Future Cruise Benefit Program. If you're interested in the Future Cruise Program while you're on board, make sure to see the cruise manager. That would be Monica on this particular cruise. Uh, now, this can change, so don't get mad at me later on, but right now they're offering 5% future, future cruise savings plus $100, uh, past guest savings and past guest rewards. So if you're having a great time on your Amma Magna cruise, it's really a good opportunity to book the next one while you're on board. Uh, you can uh, get all those benefits. Then, of course, if you live in North America and you want to book with me, then I give you my additional benefits on top. So it's really a great way to stack it up on your next Amma River cruise and really increase the value.
All right, guys. Well, as you can see right now, we've uh, made our way on the final day of the cruise here to Budapest. And uh, it's been a great cruise. Uh, the food is really good. Uh, the quality of the Yama Magna is exceptional. And uh, the itinerary was great. I actually saw a bunch of places that I hadn't seen uh, before. So that pretty much concludes the uh, full tour here of the Yama Magna. Uh, so thanks again for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please make sure to uh, hit like. Uh, down below that helps me a lot uh, subscribe here to affluent journeys uh, here on YouTube that helps me a lot and uh, put your comments down below if you've sailed uh, here on Amma waterways recently I want you to put your comments so that way other people can read it and learn from your experience and decide if it's something that's right uh, for them uh, in addition uh, I am a luxury travel agent as I mentioned before and I do recommend and uh, uh, book cruises here on Ama Waterways. So if you're seriously interested in booking a Ama Waterways river cruise, I definitely want to hear from you about it. And in most cases, I can improve on the offer that you would have directly uh, with the cruise line. Uh, even if you've already booked that cruise recently and directly with Ama Waterways, I might still be able to improve on the offer and I'll be glad to do it. So, uh, there are some requirements to that though. Uh, either way, I'm only handling North American residents on AMA Waterways. If you live in Europe, UK, or Australia, uh, you have other ways to book it, so please don't contact me. And if you're already booked and you're interested in turning that booking over to me uh, to get my extra benefits, great. Uh, but there are some requirements. So one is, again, you must be a North American resident with a North American-based booking. Uh, you must not be paid in full and you must not be booked through another travel agent. Uh, if you are booked through another travel agent, don't contact me on it. Uh, and the booking must be made, uh, of course, directly with the Yama Waterways U.S. offices. So if that applies to you, uh, either way, uh, you can contact me today at the phone number down below or submit your inquiry on the website affluentjourneys.com. Now, if you want to see all my special offers uh, and exclusive deals, make sure to follow Affluent Journeys' Facebook page. I put all my uh, private deals there. And give me a follow on Instagram. You'll see some other things that I do. Uh, also, make sure, to, make sure to check out my Cruise Tours playlist. Uh, you'll see that I have over 250 videos on the world's best cruise ships. So, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And please, stay tuned for... The next one.